I got another Eden Babar present from executive producer, and I'm just shocked that I even got this scene, though. It came out six months after initially it was supposed to come out. Maybe even like eight months. Technically hasn't even dropped yet. Yeah, this is still an early period. Got him early! Well, we record this. I'm sure when it is out on YouTube, it will be out. But, but I still got him early! <laughs> Welcome to Cats and Doggies to another episode of Figure Sneaks. Today we'll be going with a Nike Dunglow Cider. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe for some of that notification bell so you can catch all the content we have on this channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. Do you bang with it? And check me out on all social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok. Man, I'm out here in the streets, man. I'm, every I'm everywhere. But let's hop into this review and talk about this very late shoe. Like late registration, like Kanye type stuff. <gasps> yeah, dude. Now let's start off with the box like we always do. You have this plain, regular Nike Dunk box. It's just Nike on the top, Nike on the side. Let's see, size 13, Big Feet Gang. Does it say Nord Dark Chocolate and Cider? It has to say that some type of way. Yeah, I'm sure it says... Cider, dark chocolate, nor nor dark chocolate cider. One of those three. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Size 13, Big Feet Gang. Salute. You know what we gotta do. <gasps> I know that you present. Thank you, Executive Producer. I don't wanna be stupid because it does look like that. Look at the touch. And I think they're absolutely fire. Yes, once you open up this box, you are greeted with these bad boys. I mean, I think they're super clean. Uh, make sure the stock X to X stuck in. Yeah, we had to go pay resale for these, and we usually don't do that. We? Now, huh? We? I mean, we means you got them for me, and now they're mine. That means we. Okay. Cohesive, co cohesive gang gang. Typically, we don't buy shoes for resale, but I wanted them bad, so she went out the way and she got them. So we'll talk about that later on, according to my calculation. But first, let's talk about this. <laughs> I mean, there you go. If you start off with this shoe, you are greeted with what they call dark chocolate, which is this brown leather at the top. And this is some nice leather, yo. One more time, I'm like a little dunk snob, kind of. I like dunks with elevated touches and elevated. Okay. Yo, yo, you're geeking me behind the camera with the glasses on in the daytime and in the, the crib. Director, today. Uh, uh, yeah. director, sure. Yo, the laces are kind of covering up the swoosh. Yo, the vibe? The vibe. Yeah, we gotta fill them up with vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, if we start off at the front of the shoe of the toe cap, you have this dark chocolate material leather. And this is some nice leather, like some premium leather. Like Air Jordan 1 should have this type of leather on it. When you get towards the toe box, let's see, that's the toe box right there. You agree with cider. Now she calls it burnt orange. And I don't disagree with her, but I don't even know why they call it. I don't know why they call it cider either. Why do they call it cider? Does this remind you of cider? It doesn't remind you of cedar? Like, it doesn't remind me of maybe... What? Where are you getting cedar from? I don't know. Cedar, cider. It's called cider. Maybe they have a... Mikey's. Maybe it does remind you of cedar. Because that's what you had. But they're called cider. I don't know they're called cider. Alright. As you head towards the middle of the shoe, you're greeted by more dark chocolate. Then when you get to the midsection, you have dark north, which is a lighter version of black. It's so weird to say this black's not supposed to have a light or dark complex. This is just supposed to be black. Multiple different shades of black. 50 shades of black or 50 shades of orange? <laughs> is, this a, is this a 50 shade of the orange? It's burnt orange. Anywho, as you head towards the back of the shoe, after you pass your burnt orange slash cider slash cedar Nike swoosh, you're greeted with some suede, right? Some nice suede. Almost hairy, but not as thick on the hairs of orange suede and more off nor colorway. And to round off the shoe, you're greeted with random colors of purple. On your heel tab, it's covered in more dark chocolate. Now your tongue is burnt orange slash cider slash cedar. And then you also have Nike and that purple too. I don't know where the purple came from, but because they threw the purple on here, it obviously attracted me. One of my favorite colors is purple. But because it has purple, I do wish that it gave me more purple on the shoe, like maybe on the laces. 
I don't know how I really feel about the brown laces surrounded by more brown. Mm -hmm. Do you like brown laces as the color hair? Would you have one that had to be maybe purple or off nor? Maybe the nor. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. I don't mind it though. I, I mean, clearly I don't mind it because I love the shoe. I told you about it. You got it for now. It's something to hop into according to my calculations and tone and everything. After we talk about the random black midsole and the brown dark chocolate. So I have no clue where the black came from. Like, if this is supposed to be a more off nor, the color's a different color because this is Harry Suede in the middle and this is leather. And I think they chose purple because it's a complimentary color to orange. You know, honestly, love me. I miss artists here in those Party. complimentary colors. It's the colors. The colors, dude. It's, it's the, the colors. colors. Y'all know about that? <laughs> Let's hop into a quarter cap. Let's hop into according to my calculations. These sliders will drop on May 10th at a price point of 110 bucks, but we got them early. She went and got these off of StockX for $230 with taxes and fees that came up to $265. Yeah, I put right? a bid. Yeah, you put a bid in one of them. Mm -hmm. Currently right now, that size 13 is going for like $260. So with taxes and fees, it'll come up to like $295. So interesting that the price has gone up in a week already. But I don't know if they're actually going to go up more after the shoe drops on the 10th. But we did technically get them early. Now, if you've been on the channel at all and watched any of our videos, you clearly see that we had another dunk recently called the Fossil Roses. You should go check out that video if you clearly have it because we'd be flexing on the channel. And that one looks very appropriate for the spring and the summer. This shoe is clearly made for the fall and this shoe is supposed to come out on August 17th of 2021. But we, like I said, we'll get it on the 10th. We will have gotten it on the 10th if this comes out after that past 10th. Definitely going out after. 10th is tomorrow. This shoe, like I said, is currently going for roughly 260 big sizes down to maybe 200 small sizes. It's a very clean dunk. It would be perfect to wear for the following fall that's coming up. So if you want this dunk, I suggest you go get it. I have no clue what the market's going to look like after the 10th, like I said. Is it a full size run? This is a full size run and they do fit true to the size. And because it's a regular dunk, you do get the thin tongue as opposed to the fat tongue that you get on Nike SBs. And I'm not flexing because I do not like paying resale for shoes. I'd rather get it for retail, but like I said, we had to go get the stock X. I mean, it is what it is. If I had another pair on the 10th, then I'll either trade that or maybe sell it and then recuperate some of the money back. But I do think this is a clean shoe and overall, I am going to give the shoe as a gift as a 10. But aesthetically, I'm going to go with the 9. Okay, and the reason why I'm going with the 9 is elevated materials on the shoe, great, fantastic. But with the purple thrown in, I do think that I wish that I had purple laces. How do you feel about the dunk? What's your number on it today? I'm an 8. An 8. So, let's, let's break this down. On the Fossil Roses, I gave it a 10, you gave it a 9. Right? Mm -hmm. And we got that for retail. And this we paid more for, but I gave it a 9, you gave it an 8. I mean, I wouldn't have paid more for it. I just knew you wanted it. Oh, no, no. And you liked the other one better. But you liked the other one better, too. Yeah. So it's not like I, I'm not over here not appreciating the gifts. I'm just saying that. It's a little bit asymmetrical, which I don't hate. Damn, that. asymmetrical and then complimentary colors. You coming in here today with the... Yeah, she holding down the video. You trying to get some people to come back. <laughs> she trying to get people to subscribe. Subscribe. Well, I just am agreeing with you. I do like these, but I like the Fossil Roses better. It is what it is. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to rock it. Make sure you check me out on Twitter and Instagram because I will be wearing these all summer or maybe early fall because it doesn't really match <laughs> summer clothes right now. But let me know in the comments below if y'all banging with this dunk because oh, we are. And then to the next video, I'm going to clearly holla at you guys. Bye-bye. Cedar or cider? What would y'all have called this? Bye-bye. Still think it's cracked though. Like, look, a little purple inside. Yo, like, give me some purple laces, yo. Because this isn't like a regular purple either. This is like, I can't go out to Foot Locker and buy this purple lace anyway. Dunks only come with one lace. Yeah, I'm saying I want some purple, though.